Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Clash of Clans mailbag series. So once again, ask me your questions on either Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube comment section, MySpace, Snapchat, I don't know. Just ask me your questions, I'll pick the best ones and put them into next week's video. So question number one from James, he asked, do you think there will be a Clash of Clans sequel? So for me, I don't know if I really want a Clash of Clans sequel. I feel like right now they have a pretty good system where they deliver more content and features every month or every couple of months nowadays. So I don't know if a sequel would be great because I really don't know what they would do with it. Because Clash of Clans, for one, doesn't have a storyline, which is sort of unique. And um, if they made a Clash of Clans 2, they would have to think of all this crazy stuff. They would have to change up all the gameplay mechanics. They'd have to reskin it. And I just really don't know how they would get it done. Maybe I just can't see it right now, but I don't see what direction they would really take. And if it was an exact copycat of the first Clash of Clans and they just added in like a space theme or a pirate theme, people would probably just get mad because obviously nothing innovative was there. So I really don't know what they would do. I think I would more prefer that they keep to Clash of Clans and just keep adding on new stuff. And then if they have any crazy ideas for something else, they can just make it a completely different game. But I don't really know. If you guys see a situation where a Clash of Clans 2 would work out, you can drop a comment. But for me, I just don't see it. And uh, yeah, that's sort of my opinion on the thing. Cavalier asked, what are your favorite TV shows and are you ever planning on making a clan like Dolphin Stars so you can play with subs and YouTubers? So I didn't know what Dolphin Stars was, so I googled it and I'm not sure if I even know what it is now. Apparently it's J-Rod's clan. That's cool that he has his clan. I don't know what he does with it, but uh, for me, I really like my clan and uh, yeah, I'll definitely do some more visits and stuff like that soon. But more importantly, I want to talk about the TV shows part because I really don't watch that much TV at all. My friends make fun of me because I'm always out of the loop with TV shows and I don't watch a lot of movies, so they make fun of me for that. But recently, I just finished up Breaking Bad, I know like a year or two years later, but I actually really enjoyed that. I watched the first two seasons when I was flying on the planes and then I grinded out the last three seasons over the last like week or two weeks. And uh, yeah, that was a really, really good series. I really liked it, especially the last episode and the season finale was insane. So yeah, really good series. And then besides that, I know I watched Entourage like all eight episodes or all eight seasons within the year but besides that I really only watch sports I watch a lot of sports and uh, I guess Shark Tank is probably my favorite TV show that's the only TV show I watch like every week but other than that pretty much sports Shark Tank and then the occasional binge watch of something that my friends tell me to watch so Henry asked, how much further do you think the game can develop considering we're already at level 7 troops? So I actually asked a developer this when I was out in Finland, and I'm not sure if any of the other YouTubers caught it in an interview, but pretty much I asked where they were thinking about going with the game because it's pretty obvious from talking to them, they really don't want to increase the resource costs anymore or the time anymore, um, at least from the general vibe I got from them. They're more focused on adding content and adding different features to the game. So maybe something like Clan Wars that just came out, that was something that doesn't, pers like, make anything any more expensive for anyone but it adds a different element of gameplay to every single player and I think they want to do more stuff like that in the future so I'm not sure exactly how they're going to get it done but there's a bunch of different stuff they can do I've talked to them about some ideas before that are just insane and I don't even know how to describe them but I feel like there's different things they can do that they don't have to add content on for they just add some different features and uh, people will really eat that up so for example adding some sort of single player system where people can create their own maps that's something I ask them about every single day there or maybe some sort of bi-weekly single player map system stuff like that you don't have to pay any uh gold or elixir for it doesn't increase the cost of anything in the game it just adds another feature to the game that people enjoy and increases the lifespan of the game so that's really where i feel like they're going i really feel like they're moving away from making crazy amounts of new troops and stuff like that i feel like the last year is more of what what we should expect rather than 2013 where we got like five new troops and they released three darks troops at the same time i feel like we're gonna get a lot more feature-based stuff and uh, that's sort of the future of the game rather than moving to level eight and level nine troops so pirate monk asked when's the next update in your opinion will it be a big one or a marginal one what are you expecting next so for me i really feel like the next update is going to be sometime around january and if you guys know about finland finland gets really cold around this time as well as they don't see a lot of light during the day i think some days it's bright outside from like maybe 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. or something like that like so certain days are just really really dark and during the winter that's when they seem to get most of their work done during the summer they're taking vacations and stuff like that but during the winter that's when they buckle down I know that's when they worked on clan wars so I really feel like they're going to do something cool for this winter update but let me tell you guys that I have no info whatsoever I have no idea what they're doing for the next update I have no idea when it's going to be but based on past updates and based on um just sort of how they work. I really feel like the next update is going to be at least a semi-big one, and I really feel like it'll be during early January. 
that gives them two months since the previous update of Halloween, or I guess maybe even three months. And uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what to expect, but I'd expect it to be something cool. Like I talked about in the last questions, maybe it'll be something feature related. Maybe they'll finally add the single player maps that I've been asking forever for, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. But yeah, I'll guess something feature related. And um, yeah, during January, that's pretty much my guess. So final question from Dan, he asked, what kind of music do you listen to? And for me, I usually show off the music that I've been listening to when I stream, but I haven't streamed lately. So I'd have to pick my two favorite artists. They would be Childish Gambino and Lil Dicky. So a lot of people have heard of Childish Gambino. He obviously makes great music. If you haven't heard of Lil Dicky, he is the most hilarious person I've ever listened to. I went to his first concert. It was awesome. But I got to warn you, really, really inappropriate. So yeah, you guys can check it out if you want. I'll link one of his songs in the description below, but I've been listening to him forever since I I think he started making music back in 2012 and I definitely know he's going to hit a big soon. So people really love his music when I play it on stream and it cracks me up every single time I listen to it. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this Clash of Clans mailbag. Again, if you guys have a question, you guys can drop it either in the comment section below or I'll post all my social media links in the description. So yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.